Hey guys, welcome back to Sench Notes here. I'm Shinitsuki. Hope you guys are doing well. And in today's video, I thought I'd show you guys how to draw a perfect, uh, pretty ball gown. So, the first step is to prepare the specimen. Yeah? So, yeah, right? So, that's it. Uh, this is a simple ball gown that I have drawn in like uh, just a rough sketch. And the second step is to, as usual, give a base color to the to the base sketch. So I'm just going to fill it up with pink since it is my with baby pink since it is my favorite color. And yeah, you can fill it up with water color you like. I'm just using pink here. So yeah. Just fill it up, baby. Fill it all up. Yeah. Pink is such a pretty color, don't you think? Honestly, I respect pink. It's just so elegant, so pretty. So, alright, I think that's enough. And the gloves as well. Obviously, it's not a Disney style ball gown if it doesn't have the gloves, the essentials. Alright, uh, I think we have done with the base color. So, <coughs> alpha locking, we are going to choose a slightly, a slightly, what do you say there? What do you call that? Darker color and fill up the places where there is shadow like this and below here like this and here and then right here and then on the edges like this the sides yeah now we are going to choose a lighter color than the original and fill up with where it is going to be light like here 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 and here i think i pretty much deleted the original color and yeah so we are done with that now we will be moving on to the next step the next step is that we are going to add a layer turn the clipping on or we are going to how do you say select the entire layer like this and move here wait I'm doing something wrong yeah we're just going to add a layer turn the clipping on and go to this picture shape at the top and we're going to go to cloth patterns here and we're going to choose a fabric pattern so this is just for amateurs or newbies who have uh, you know just started drawing if you want to do it yourself then that's perfectly fine you can do it yourself there's nothing wrong with that so we're just going to choose something pretty how do you say something that suits your tastes something like a rose but it won't yeah or something like a laces or another rose if you guys don't know rose is actually my favorite uh, flower so I'm just choosing rose and once you're chosen the color you can just turn on the soft light or if you don't want to do that you can just choose any other 
something like this lighten is a pretty great one you can go with your pasty or not or you can just uh, choose something else like uh, where is it this thing here carefree natural this is a, such a pretty pattern i love that pattern like this you can just turn the light in on on this one see like this i just going to add something like this and we are going to add a layer or we can just duplicate this original layer bring it above turn the clipping on and overlay soft and wait something isn't right what i thought is not working so yeah anyway uh, after we have done this we are going to add another layer turn the clipping on and go to the multiply and we are going to add brush the whole thing you know add brush it entirely just to add the depths like here and here and here 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 and here all right uh load your pastry a bit and the next step is to add the pretty laces like wait next step is to first turn the alpha lock on the liner choose a really dark shade of the original color that we have chosen and then color the liner like this okay so that actually brings out really well like this and the next step is to go to the brush and there's something called as a what do you say uh okay let's just use a chain if you're looking for a very cool badass princess doing that like this yeah like this but since we don't want that we are just going to go to the basic and we are going to choose something known as the laces what is that yeah you heard me right lace lace is you know what lace is you don't need me to explain it to you you really don't we are going to add lots and lots of lasers lots and lots of lasers over here like this and then lots and lots of lasers over here like this and then also lots and lots of lasers right here lasers where there is an opening there are lasers like this just remember that lasers are what defines a princess don't have lasers you're not a princess sorry girl go home so yeah here as well and then we are going to say darker color like this and we are going to just one more base just to be sure and then if you're interested you can add some over here but we are not interested are we so we are just going to there is something called as lace in the material section so if you want you can check that out here like frills it can be used wait let me show you that thing wait i'll show you guys how to use a uh, lasers i'll show you guys i'll show you guys don't worry don't worry i'll show you so something like uh, these kind of lasers or it's be really pretty and what we're going to do is that we are going to repeat it like this except the repeat is
going to be something I choose so it's going to be like uh, this in this size after repeating it we are going to like go to normal and invert which is just straight up inverting the color but this one is not working so we are just going to uh, turn the alpha lock on and paint it white wait a minute oh uh, yeah so yeah that's not working we are just going to go here clear white grayscale and to erase some bit like this entirely you can use it like this or you can't so yeah and just like that we are going to use the laces again like this over here I like laces a lot so I am definitely going to use lots of laces on this cloth. If you don't like laces you don't have to use. Alright. Alright and I think we are almost done. Just dark laces over where you want to highlight them and light laces where you don't want to highlight them but you also want to highlight them or something like that. So once we are done, we are going to add some sparkles to it, like the sputtering one here, sputters as it says, and the shine one here has, let me show you, we are going to use the add filter, and then just something like this, and I don't know if you can see this, yeah you can see that use something like this or this yeah it's not showing it's not showing see you can see it it is just uh, straight up something that is shine to your stuff so like that we are going to use uh, another type of lace because the more the merrier see delete the add layer add a new layer there are lots and lots of lace types so choose what you like because in the end it's your cloth you're the one who will suffer no no i mean you know something like that so yeah so that is how you draw a ball gown only if you're an amateur this is how you steal the cloth patterns and impose it super imposed it into your art and if you really want to draw all the patterns you can just as i've done before you can just draw this patterns or something choose the transform and you can just choose repeat it will repeat like this you can that's how you use the repeat so yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys learned how to draw, how to color a ball girl. And if you liked my content and my art, then please like, share, subscribe and yeah, comment below. That's about it. And drink lots of water. Take care of yourself. Bye.